Tell me what happened. They got our spy pilot or the head full of classified information. They got their guy. We want you to negotiate the swap so it's not governments talking. You play the Soviet spy Rudolf Abel. Yeah. How much do we know about him? Well, Sting knows more about him than anyone. Sting? Yeah, but I met Sting after we'd finished filming, unfortunately. How did he know about him? Because Sting's a Geordie and he grew up in Newcastle, Rudolf Abel. Um, and uh, he was reported to uh, sound Scottish. So that's what I've done in the film. But Sting very adamantly said, I, I hope you're playing him Geordie because he's a Geordie hero. Yeah. <laughs> you're an American, you could well be detained. Definitely stay away from the wall. Cross it and you'll be shot. The Cold War has a, a new relevance these days in a way, doesn't it? Yeah. Between East and West, or between Russia certainly and the United States and Britain for that matter. We all know the effect of the Second World War on the Israeli nation, how very defensive and worried they are. Um, ab about um, what took place. Six billion people killed. The Russians lost 20 million. So that's three, over three times the amount of people that the Russian people lost at, at the hands of the West. I think we forget that how, how, how defensive they, they are uh, and how worried they are about our behavior. Marshals, you may take the defendant into custody. No, no electrocution? No, no, no. Why are we hanging? In the name of God, why have we hated him? Sit. What's interesting about, about the film is that there are heroes, but there are no villains as such. You see everybody's point of view, which you don't always do in spy thrillers. I think Stephen was keen on that aspect of the story, and that's why he gave it the title Bridge of Spies, which it didn't have when we were filming. And it's resonant also, isn't it, because we're, we're tempted again now in England and, and in America because of the apparent cruelty of, of people like the, the people who in ISIS and stuff, we're, we're tempted and it seems like we've fallen foul of torture and of incarceration in Guantanamo without trial. Shaka Ahmed has just returned after 5,000 days in prison as an innocent man. Um, it, it's just an outrage of injustice and this film is very much about an encouragement that we, we mustn't lower our standards um, it's our standards and our rules of how we treat each other that make us say, make us who we are. And if, if we're distracted from that by the cruelty of our enemies, then we become the same as they. There is what the people writing about, the Oscar bars, and you perhaps being nominated, presumably for a Best Supporting Actor. And so I just wanted, you know, the film star lifestyle, would it come, wouldn't come naturally to you? Oh, I don't know. I th that's just one aspect of the film star lifestyle. <laughs> you know, the cars and the money and the high life. <laughs> that's all fine with me. Um, the, uh, I'm only kidding. But the, the, um, the reduction of anything into a competition is, is, uh, is not so much fun. I'm a competitive person. Ping pong, football, volleyball, poker. We will I play table tennis one day because I'm... You, you may cry, though, at the end. <laughs> but, but uh, I, I love all that. And, uh, but, but acting is, is something that is about uh, connecting with other people for me and making something together that's a story. I, I, I guess I wish it would be nicer if they celebrated the best scene, say the funniest scene, the most moving scene, the most frightening scene. Lovely to have you on breakfast. Thank you. Thanks very yeah, nice much. Nice to see Thanks, you Mark. too, Phil. Thank you.